Hello, I'm John Mesa. I work at ESRI in the software products uh, division. And today I'm going to show you a, a very quick demonstration of the GeoDatabase toolset in our catalog. This is using ArcGIS Desktop for a 931 final. In our catalog, with the GeoDatabase toolset, there's one additional tab that's installed with the GeoDatabase toolset. That's right here. You'll see all these different icons. I'm going to go through each one of these icons and show you just a little bit of the functionality and the capability. We'll talk about the information that's uh, provided. The first is the editing information. Now the editing information, and I'll just start that here, I'm going to click on a feature class. This one's the arterial feature class in the streets data set. Click on the edit information. And this shows us uh, quickly a count of the rows in the ads table. This is a versioned uh, feature class, so we can do versioned editing. It's very important to know throughout time how your ads and deletes tables grow because that can impact the performance of both edits and queries. So in this case for the arterial feature class, there's 7,124 rows in the ads table. There's zero rows in the delete table. So the total is 7,124 total rows in the delta tables. Um, no relationship classes, it's not a network, nor is it a typology um, data set. Okay, the next piece of functionality we'll look at are the statistics and indexes. Now it's very uh, important to know that this functionality works only with an Oracle database. My data source here, if you look over on the left hand side, uh, I'm connected to an ARC SDE 931 final, which is in an Oracle 10G database. With Oracle, I'm going to show you how, um, show you the statistics, the Oracle statistics that are associated with that feature class. For performance in Oracle, it's very important to maintain your database statistics um, to get uh, the most performance you can in your special queries and your edits. So I'll click uh, business table, spatial table, the table that holds the geometry, and let's go over here. These are the table statistics. Right now, for the business table only, shows that for the arterial uh, feature class, the business table, it was last analyzed, and the Oracle statistics were generated on October 7th. Shows you the number of rows that are considered that the statistics thinks are in that table. We can then click on the feature table, checkbox, spatial index, adds and deletes tables, and we're going to go and see what the statistics are for those tables. So for the delete table, the statistics were generated on October 20th, and same for the spatial index table. Now that's for the table statistics. The geodatabase toolset also provides information on the index statistics, which are extremely important when you want to get the highest performance out of your uh, Oracle database. And so this gives you the level of fragmentation, the leaf blocks and leaf rows, and the height of that B-tree index. Let's move on to the user information. It provides the number of users that are connected at this moment to that SDE instance. And so right now, it's, it's just my login. And you also see at the bottom it shows schema logs. Okay, the next thing we're going to see 
is the versioning tree. And this is a very simple versioning tree. It just has the default version, and the default version is pointing to this green circle, which is a state, state zero. This database is fully compressed, so the state tree is as flat as you can get it, with two additional editing versions. I'll show you another instance. This is another database. Again, this is SDE 931 final using Oracle 10G also. But as you can see, the state tree for this database has uh, more states and versions. And in fact, if you look at this long line here, this shows the states. These are just edits that have been created and that can go away if compressed. We can look to see what that state tree could look like if it is compressed with the pseudo compressed uh, option. So what we do here is we'll go down here, zoom in, you can see all the versions we have here in the yellow and their associated states. I'll go and select, right click, click pseudo compress, and there we see what the state tree would look like if it was compressed. You notice this long uh, lineage here, this line of states will be removed. Also down here you'll see that this will be removed and that's what happens when you compress a state tree. Okay, we will then go back over here to the, the simpler state tree. And what I'm going to show you is the spatial index functionality. This shows you the extent, this box is the extent of the features in that uh, feature class. We can also click that checkbox and um, there we see the actual features. Now we can check um, these checkboxes and the grids will uh, be shown. We can also auto calculate some grid sizes and we can use those. So, the, so it has a grid size, uh, we'll use grid size 1 and very quickly you see those, that is the conceptual spatial grid cells overlay this, the features in that feature class. And this is grids, grid level 2. Now we can turn these off and now we're going to show the sizes that were auto-calculated. Okay, and we'll start with the highest uh, grid a grid level, that's grid level 3. We add a little more capability in our queries by showing grid level 2 and then grid level 1. The spatial grid sizes are very important for the spatial queries to, since they use a spatial index, which you saw earlier. And then the last piece of functionality we'll see is um, a tree control which shows the versions within the geodatabase. And this shows the default version, when it was created, last modified, and we also see a couple other versions. Again, this is for that state tree. Now we can go over to this other state tree, and this shows you the different versions in that state tree. Their full name, any description that's given, the date it's created and modified. That is uh, the geodatabase tool set for our catalog. Thank you, and if you have any questions, please send an email to info at esri.com.